The Pittsburgh Basketball Club Pro-Am playoffs at Green Tree were no joke. Every team participating played extremely hard, but in the end, only one champion could be crowned. In the first semifinal game, center court, the sixth seed going into the playoffs featuring J.J. Moore, Ken Birch, John Johnson, and former Pitt player Gilbert Brown took on the number one seed, PBC, who came into the playoffs with the best record in the league, led by big men Kyle Goldcamp and Jakeem Donaldson, as well as guards T.J. McConnell and Kendrick Perry. And right off the tip, Duquesne guard Mike Talley drilled a triple for PBC. There was more where that came from. The good news for Pitt fans in this one is that Birch, the McDonald's All-American coming out of high school, certainly lived up to the hype here in the first half. Here he is with a nice scoop shot off the glass. Birch was 7 for 12 from the field and finished with 15 points and 11 rebounds, the best he's looked all summer. He was dunking everything, really active on the inside, showing why he was such a coveted recruit. But the bad news for Pitt fans is that sophomore rising star J.J. Moore picked a bad time to have an off night, finishing with just 8 points on 3 for 13 from the field. Not a typical night for the explosive freshman guard John Johnson either. He had a modest 11 points by his standards, shooting 4 for 12 from the floor, although he did pick it up a little bit in the second half. He comes out of nowhere there to get the steal and then pushing it up the floor, going by everybody, switching hands midair for the layup. And here he gets another steal. He's going to push it ahead past everybody for a sweet spin move right to the rim, looking more like his usual self. Recent Pitt grad Gilbert Brown was big for center court as he gets the heads up tip in there right at the halftime buzzer. And then this monster block, he finished with 19 for center court. But PBC and especially Kendrick Perry with his 24 points just had too much firepower and advanced to the finals, ending the Cinderella story for center court, 104 to 96. In the second semifinal, fourth seed SPK Law took on second seeded PGT Trucking, featuring Malcolm Gilbert, Cam Wright, and Nick Rivers. SPK Law had Gary McGee, Lamar Patterson, and Aaron Nwankwo, but Ashton Gibbs arrived late because he had class and thus couldn't play. But his team didn't even need him on Tuesday as Patterson and McGee were tremendous for SPK Law. Both guys went for 19 points in double doubles, 13 rebounds for Patterson, 11 for McGee, five dimes for Patterson as well, and they were really a pretty formidable inside duo. Probably two of the more physical players out there on the floor in this one as McGee slams it home. The two combined for a couple jumpers as well, as you see the nice move by Patterson. You expect that from him. Not so much McGee, but hey, he hits the jumper from the short corner. While Patterson and McGee were the most impressive and led their team to victory, Wright, Gilbert, and Rivers on the other side weren't too shabby either, as Gilbert shows the nice touch on those two shots, and then Rivers bangs a three from the corner. Rivers actually had the most points out of the three, going for 16 in this one. Gilbert reached his quota for blocks, but this time Nwankwo gets it back and puts it right in. Again, block leads to a bucket, and for the third time, a Gilbert block leading to a bucket on the weak side. Tough luck there. So he makes sure that doesn't happen again, sends it away, and blocks Nwankwo, no putback this time, and another one pins it off the backboard. He finished with 10 points and 12 boards. Rivers gets the steal and makes it easy on him that time. Here he blows the assist from right, but makes up for it, gets the stick back. Speaking of right, he did most of his damage in the second half, but by that time, the game was pretty well in hand for SPK Law. Wright did everything he could, though, to try to help PGT mount a comeback. But SPK Law moves on to the finals with a 93-85 win over PGT as Gilbert pads his stats with one last block on McGee. So that set the stage for the championship game between top seed PBC and fourth seeded SPK Law with a big crowd on hand to take in the Pittsburgh Basketball Club Pro-Am Finals. And I'll tell you what, this game was a war. Two great teams battling it out right from the tip. But it was SPK Law with Gibbs back in action that really came out firing here in the first half. Patterson got the scoring started with this crafty move inside working around Jakeem Donaldson. 
And Gary McGee asserted himself right away as well. Gets that lay in there right off the bat. And another one off the nice feed from Patterson for the three-point play. Patterson sets up McGee again for the flush. Earlier in the day, McGee signed with a team in Croatia to play professionally overseas, and you can see why. Gibbs getting into the lane, puts it up off the glass and in, and then Patterson gonna make another fantastic move, splitting the defense, puts it in for two, and then Gibbs takes over here for a stretch going between his legs, pulls up from another area code, money, and then in transition, pulls up for a little 12-footer, gets it to go. And off two great blocks here by Patterson on Jakeem Donaldson, Gibbs gonna end up with the rock, shows his newfound speed and quickness going coast to coast, lays it in with the right hand. And another impressive athletic play from Patterson sneaking in for the tip slam. In the first half, SPK Lock couldn't miss. Gibbs with a deep two. Patterson adding on with a three late in the half. And then a very heady play by Patterson just before the end of the half makes the extra pass to McGee for the dunk. They take a 16 point lead into the break. But after this put back by Gibbs early in the second half, PBC owned the rest of the game. Aside from this nice running hook from McGee and this thunderous slam, PBC collapsed on the big man and made it hard for him. They also did a good job taking Gibbs out of the game and as well as Patterson played in the first half, he really struggled in the second. SPK only had six guys to PBC's eight, and on top of all of that, PBC started hitting their shots as well, and this play might have been the turning point in the entire game. Patterson tries to draw the charge, but Kyle Goldcamp ends up getting the and one, completes the three-point play, and they take the lead. Except for a couple of nice takes, Gibbs just couldn't get it going in the second half. He still shot 10 for 18 and finished with 30 points. Him and Patterson gonna hit a couple late layups to try to cut the lead, but PBC was just too much. Patterson finished with 13 points, but most of those came in the first half. PBC hits their free throws down the stretch, and they go on to get the win, and they are your Pittsburgh Basketball Club Pro-Am champions. Defeating SPK Law 86-79, McGee did have 18 points in the losing effort. Donaldson led PBC with 21 and 14 and was named league MVP. It was a great season, a lot of good basketball played at Green Tree this summer and a ton to look forward to for the Pitt Panther fans out there. Just about everybody played very well, the younger guys, the older guys. Thanks to everybody that watched, we really had a good time doing it. Look forward to more coverage from us during the regular season. I'm Brian Badco for Panther Sports Network.